I just realised this is not something a man does dressed in a kimono. So let me change and I will do like this and something will happen maybe. In today's episode, how do you do into Vapas and Papa? Welcome to Stories of My Life. So I'm wearing my new kimono from uh, collaboration with IKEA and Marie Mecco. Yes, yes. So I'm feeling so fine. I'm feeling fantastic. Today will be a great day. I'm meeting Christian later on at uh, Stockholm City Food Hall. I think it's the name, the one I visited a week ago, but I didn't eat there when I was meeting my son. And then we're going to the opening night of De Hort. Die Oh, I just got the get oh the joke. Die Hard. De Hort. It's uh, uh, the opening night of a play about um sort of entertainment violence, I guess. And uh, what to do and what we how it affects us and stuff like that. Really interesting. But first, this. What is it you say? Well, some of you might remember that yesterday I, Ulf and Magnus, went to Ikea and I brought home two sofas, two kind of tiny sofas for my balcony. So I thought I'd, um, yeah, I'd start building one. Wait, I need to cut it, cut it, cut it good. In today's episode, how do you do into Papa and Papa? Welcome to Stories of My Life. So I'm wearing my new kimono from uh, collaboration with IKEA and Marie Mecco. Yes, yes. So I'm feeling so fine. I'm feeling fantastic. Today will be a great day. I'm meeting Christian later on at uh, Stockholm City Food Hall. I think it's the name, the one I visited a week ago, but I didn't eat there when I was meeting my son. And then we're going to the opening night of De Hort. Die Oh, I just got the get oh the joke. Die Hard. De Hort. It's uh, uh, the opening night of a play about um, sort of entertainment violence, I guess. And uh, what to do and what we how it affects us and stuff like that. Really interesting. But first, this. What is it you say? Well, some of you might remember that yesterday I, Ulf and Magnus, went to Ikea and I brought home two sofas, two kind of tiny sofas for my balcony. So I thought I'd, um, yeah, I'd start building one. Wait, I need to cut it, cut it, cut it good. Okay, here we go. Okay. Impossible. Oh, I forgot that part. Damn it. Okay, here we go again. Yes, I realise I might want to turn this over. So that's what I'm doing now. Yes, people, I'm turning this over. Oh. I just realised this is not something a man does dressed in a kimono. So let me change and I will do like this and something will happen, maybe. Kimono? I never heard of such a thing. I'm a straight man in a gay man's body. What would that be? What would that be? A straight man in a gay man's body. Let's explore. No, let's fix this sofa first. Then let's explore. The sofa is called Jolpen, and that does not mean anything in Swedish, as far as I know. It's just a sort of a jumble of a couple of words that make it sound Swedish. Jolpen, Jolpen. Oh, so it doesn't seem that... Oh! This looks really easy. Oh, I thought there would be much more sort of screwing. I was looking forward to the screwing. I'm speechless. I'm really speechless. I can't say a word. I can't think of anything to say. This sofa only got four pieces and, well, a lot of screws. But four pieces, I thought there would be sort of one leg, the next leg and that leg and the, the sort of thing that goes underneath and supports that thing. No, four pieces. Fantastical. So this is always really scary when you see something and you see cross, you shouldn't do that. But you don't understand what... What's the difference? 
What is it? That's the back part sorted, just four screws. Damn. It's kind of funny when they do like that, show you, because it's levitating. Before you sort of, it's not, that's, it's not resting on these. These are sort of, it's hanging in mid air. So it's kind of hard doing it. Yeah, yeah. But you know me, straight man, gay body. Wait. So done. Well, almost done. Ladies and gentlemen, it is done. And I know most people say something is wrong with the thing, but I think this is really something they sort of welded wrong because you can see that little hole there. It's, I think this sort of bar is supposed to be turned because there's this screw, but you can't really... Now, I, I'm going to show you on the next one. Hopefully the next one is working. It's nothing really that sort of... I think it's going to be okay but it's sort of a stabilizing thing that really can't be made now so okay people onto the balcony it will go oh, let's move this plastic wisteria oh look oh it's too late for the sun to no well maybe the sun will so yeah yeah see you on the other side Here we go lovely of course, I will be moving stuff, so get a little bit more room. But anyway, lovely. And now, ladies and generals, it's on to the next thing. Well, the next sofa. So I'm just going to show you so don't think I hallucinate. The one is outside on the balcony had that hole there inside. So when they assembled this one or welded it, I guess. Yes, it's welded, so I can't change it. They sort of turn this the wrong way around. So I can't really do anything about it, but this one is right side out. Ah, oh, good. I thought maybe I sort of misunderstood or something, but no, I did not. I did not, people. So I guess there's a reason why these are so cheap. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And I mean, I just took them out of the box, so they can't, I can't have scratched them. So yeah. But still, you know, not expensive. So, second sofa done it. And um, yeah, there's more debris than there is sort of actual results. Or this is more slim, easier to fit in. This is sort of, God. I need to have a cup of coffee on my new and improved balcony. So this would have been great if that coffee was, you know, fantastically tasting, but it wasn't. It kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I need to take a shower. I need to get into the city. I need to meet Christian. And here I am, sitting on my balcony, hitting my head on one of those flower pots. I need to move that thing. But where? To where shall I move it? I'm deep. Oh, and yes, there is a sofa under there. I was lying in bed scrolling on TikTok when I realised, wait, there's sun on the balcony. Oh my God, I've got sunshine. I've got sunshine. What a I'm now off to meet Christian outside the fast food restaurant where we're going to meet. City, Stockholm City Food Hall, I think it is. So I'm going to this other side. We had a Christian's, we had the crunchy vegan bowl. A bowl. Bowl. Crunchy vegan bowl from Joy. Mmm, Jack.
You got the show's over. It was fantastic. Right, Christian? It's very good. I was so afraid that he wouldn't like it, but he loved it. So if you're in Stockholm, Sweden, or if you're coming here, go see Spong's Orchestra's version of Die Hard. It's so funny and really sort of also quite um, moving, but mostly funny and kind of worrisome as well. But fantastically directed and fantastically acted. So good. And I have never seen the Die Hard movies, but Christian had, so he was laughing like a mad Christian. We are in the old city and it's time to say goodbye to Christian. He's got a red light and a red face because of the red light. But I, I stopped here because I, I, I'm, I'm on the other side of the red light so I can talk to him. And now, and, and now he's going. Goodbye. 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 See you okay. soon. -ish. Arrivederci. I am so glad, well, for myself, because it was a good show, but also for Christian's sake that it was a good show because I brought him, dragged him to some really, not really funny shows. <laughs> I don't know who those. Yes, you are. Hello, sir. Hello. Where is this going up? Instagram. This, yes. Oh, very nice. Yes, it is. Follow me yes. at free m r i k dot e k r. Okay. No, e k free. Okay. Thank you. We do. Bye. Bye. Anyway, before I was so lewdly interrupted, I wanted to say I'm so happy for Christian's sake and for mine that this was a fantastically good show because I dragged him to some fantastically bad shows and he sort of, so today he asked when I asked him do you want to come with me to the opening night of Die Hard and he was is it good? and I thought well Bombs Orchestra, the group is well they're always quite good well they always are good but well tonight they were fantastic Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.